Hello friends. Friends, today we will discuss a very very important article that is Maxwell's fourth equation or modified Ampere's circuit law derivation. So let us start with a discussion. Now here the first question, first question arises why there was a need to modify Ampere's circuit law? Why there was need to modify Ampere's circuit law? law okay now to give answer to this question let us first discuss what is ampere's circuit law without modification because the modified ampere circuit law is known as the maxwell's fourth equation now statement of ampere circuit law it states that the line integral the closed line integral of the magnetic field h around any closed path or circuit is equal to the current enclosed by the path. It states that the line integral of the magnetic field around any closed path or circuit is equal to the current enclosed by the path. Or maybe you have you have discussed in your previous classes B dot DL equals to mu naught I. Okay, but B is equals to mu naught H. So if we will put the value of B is equals to mu naught H here, then mu naught mu naught cancel out and it will become HTL equals to I. Okay. So this is the statement of Ampere circuit law. Now suppose suppose uh, current is distributed through the surface with current density J. And what is the relation between current and current density? This is I is equals to close integral of J dot ds. Okay, J is known as current density, that is current per unit area. Okay, I have discussed in my previous lecture. Okay, now put the value of I here. So, above equation will become integral of H dot DL equals to integral of J dot DS. Okay, this is our equation number 1. This is our equation number 1. Okay. So, I am just discussing first why there was need to modify Ampere's circuit law. Okay, now apply Stokes theorem to the left hand side of equation number 1. Now, what was equation number 1? That is integral of h dot dl equals to integral of j dot ds. Now, we have to apply the Stokes theorem to the left hand side to the left hand side of equation number one okay to change line integral to change line integral to the surface integral now what is basically Stokes theorem I have already discussed but again I am discussing now, suppose there is a vector a and the line integral of vector a is a dot dl and this theorem will change the line integral to the surface integral to the line integral to the surface integral that is del cross a dot ds okay curl of vector ds so here instead of a h is there so h will be converted into a so left hand side will be changed into del cross h dot ds equals to integral of j dot ds okay integral of j dot ds now two surface integrals are equal only if their integrands are equal now these are the integrands just like discussed in my last lecture if i say x ds equals to 2 dx these two integrals are equal only if x equals to 2 so x and 2 are known as integrands integrands okay so here in this case the two surface integrals are equal only if del cross h equals to j del cross h equals to j okay so uh, this is this is uh, equation number two and this is the differential differential form of Differential form of 
एम्पियर्स सर्किटल लॉ डिफरेंशियल फॉर्म ऑफ एम्पियर्स सर्किटल लॉ ओके सो टेक डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाउ टेक डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाउ व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डाइवर्जेंस टेक डेल डॉट डेल क्रॉस एच इक्वल्स टू डेल डॉट जे एक डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ इक्वेशन नंबर टू डेल डॉट डेल डॉट ऑन बोथ साइड्स ओके नो देर इज अ वेक्टर आइडेंटिटी एज डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ द कर्ल ऑफ वेक्टर इज ऑलवेज जीरो एज डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ द कर्ल ऑफ वेक्टर इज ऑलवेज जीरो देर फोर डेल डॉट डेल क्रॉस एच इक्व टू जीरो ओके डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ वैक्टर ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट डाइवर्जेंस डेल डॉट ऑफ कर्ल डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ कर्ल इज ऑलवेज जीरो डेल डॉट डेल क्रॉस एच इक्व टू जीरो इट मीन्स दैट डेल डॉट जे इक्व टू जीरो डेल डॉट जे इक्व टू जीरो now what is this what is this equation this represents the equation of continuity for steady currents equation of continuity for steady currents but not for time varying fields but not for time varying fields as equation of continuity for time varying fields is del dot j is equals to minus curly rho by curly lee just check my previous lecture i have derived there so there is inconsist inconsistency in ampere's circuital law that ampere's circuital law satisfies the equation of continuity for steady currents but not for time varying charges or time varying fields ampere circuital law it is good if if rho equals to constant if volume charge density charges are not varying with respect to time but if charges are varying with respect to time that is equation of continuity for time varying charges then ampere's ampere circuital law is not good it is inconsistent it is good for the steady charges but not for the time varying charges this is the reason this is the reason that uh, led maxwell to modify that led maxwell to modify ampere's circuital law and that is known as maxwell's fourth equation okay now what was the modification what was the modification maxwell modified ampere's law by giving the concept of displacement current at the displacement current density jd okay uh, he concluded that equation number 2 that is del cross h equals to j differential form of ampere circuital law for time varying field should be written as j plus jd okay j plus jd now what we can add in j what ever we will add the dimensions of that additional thing should be same as j that is should be same as same as current density or the conduction current density so he added the jd okay he added the jd so dimension wise there will not be any change equation number 3 is there now again take the divergence take the divergence on both sides del dot del cross h equals to del dot j plus del dot jd now what i have told you divergence of curl del dot del cross h is always zero it means it means del dot j plus del dot jd equals to zero it means del dot jd equals to minus of del dot j now for time varying fields or charges 
equation of continuity is del dot j is equals to minus curly rho by curly t put here so del dot jd will become curly rho by curly t curly rho by curly t this is our equation number three okay del dot jd is equals to curly rho by curly t what is our aim what was the modification del cross h equals to j plus jd we have to find out the value of jd okay so del dot jd is equals to curly rho by curly t equation number three now from gauss law differential form of gauss law already discussed by me in previous lectures del dot d equals to rho del dot d equals to rho therefore equation three equation three will become del dot curly d by curly t equals to curly rho by curly t what is what was equation number three del dot jd is equals to curly rho by curly t if we put the value of rho in equation number three so it will become del dot curly t uh, del dot curly d by curly t is equals to curly rho by curly t sorry uh, you just ignore this one you just ignore this uh, uh, not equation number three we will not put here as del dot d is equals to rho del dot d is equals to rho now differentiate differentiate with respect to time this equation so this equation will become del dot curly d by curly t equals to curly rho by curly t okay uh, i'm sorry for this step okay so now put this result now put this result in equation number three put this result put this this result in equation number three that is the result of curly rho by curly t put this result value of curly rho by curly t in equation number three so equation three will become del dot jd equals to del dot curly d by curly t del dot jd is equal to del dot curly d by curly t now as the divergence of two vectors divergence of two vectors is equal only if the vectors are equal okay if the vectors are equal if i say del dot del dot a is equals to del dot b okay divergence will be equal only when a will be equal to b so we can remove the divergence so what we will get we will get jd jd equals to curly t by curly t curly t by curly t now substitute this equation in this result that is del cross h equals to j plus jd in the in this this equation equation number three okay del cross h equals to j plus jd put the value of jd so del cross h equals to j plus curly d by curly t so here jd is known as the jd is known as the displacement current density that is equals to the rate of change of displacement current displacement current this is known as the maxwell's fourth equation or modified ampere circuital law be more specific j is known as the conduction current density and d is also equals to epsilon naught e is a electric field so this equals to j's conduction current density okay this equals to sigma into e this is the this is the point form of ohms law so this relation will become sigma e plus epsilon naught curly e by curly t so del cross h equals to sigma e plus epsilon naught curly e by curly t either this equation or this equation is known as the modified form of ampere circuital law or the maxwell's fourth equation now what what about the integral form what about the integral form of 
एक सरफेस इंटीग्रल एक सरफेस इंटीग्रल ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल फॉर्म ऑफ मैक्सुअल फोर्थ इक्वेशन सो सरफेस इंटीग्रल विल बिकम डेल क्रॉस एच डॉट डी एस इक्वल्स टू जे प्लस करली डी बाई करली टी डॉट डी एस नो अगेन अप्लाई स्टॉक्स थ्योरम अप्लाई स्टॉक्स थ्योरम to the left hand side now what was the stock theorem the theorem is used to convert line integral to the surface integral or surface to the line integral so here vector is del cross h vector is del cross h so it left hand side del cross h dot ds will become integral of h dot dl so left hand side will become h dot dl right hand side there is no change j plus curly d by curly t dot ds now this is the integral form of the integral form of the maxwell's fourth equation now remember ampere's circuit law what was ampere's circuit law h dot dl equals to i okay left hand side for the ampere circuit law and the modified ampere circuit law there is no change right hand side there is i if i change j dot ds and what was curly d by curly t jd dot ds so what is j dot ds i what should be jd dot ds id okay so there was only modification towards the right hand side of the maxwells of the ampere circuit law okay so what was the statement of modified what is the statement of modified ampere circuit law the line integral of the magnetic field h around any closed path of circuit is equal to the conduction current conduction current plus the time derivative of the displacement through any surface bounded by the path to any surface bounded by the path displacement current plus the conduction current i will discuss in my further lectures uh, in detail about the difference between the conduction current density and the displacement current density so the importance of the significance of or the importance of maxwell's fourth equation first thing it introduces the concept of the displacement current density okay it introduces the concept of displacement current density and second thing if there will be the change in the change in the displacement current or epsilon not curly e by curly t second term of the maxwell's fourth equation if there will be the change in the electric field with respect to time del cross h equals to this was j plus n del cross h the magnetic field will be associated with it whenever there will be change in the electric field there will be rotational magnetic field associated with it as i have told in my introductory lectures this is the path of the light okay and light consists of electric field vectors and magnetic field vectors okay electric field vectors and the magnetic field vectors and we cannot de associate both these components if there will be change in h then e will be associated with it that is by the maxwell's third equation if there will be change in e then h will be associated with it okay so always there will be if there will be change in h e will be associated if there will be change in e h will be associated so dear friends this is about the maxwell's fourth equation why there was need to modify ampere circuit law if there is any doubt please share in the comment section thank you thanks a lot